Hey, what's going on? This is Jerry here with Wealth Dynamics. Hope you're having a fantastic Monday night, a happy Labor Day. I want to share with you tonight. I'm just leaving the office. It's 8.30 p.m. I'll prove it to you. Right there, 8.30 p.m. I think y'all can see that. It's 8.30 p.m. on Labor Day, and I'm just leaving the office. Not only that, it's Labor Day, and I was at the office in the first place. So I wanna share with you why. Why would I work till 8.30 p.m. on Labor Day? Why would I work on Labor Day in the first place? So A, I like knowing where things came from. And I don't know if you knew this, but Labor Day was actually um, the government's reaction to a violent strike back in the 1940s or 50s. So essentially a bunch of employees decided that they were um, done with their working conditions. They were tired of it. They weren't gonna have it anymore. They went on strike. Uh, the government, I think it was Grover Cleveland, overreacted and injured and killed a bunch of people because he sicked the police and troops on them. So in return, they were like, hey, we'll give you a national holiday where you get a day off. I hope that makes you feel better. So I like to know where things came from, but secondly, Man, I'm fighting for my freedom. So the only labor that I'm going to put in is labor that I know will directly pay off in my financial freedom. It, re it will result in me no longer trading time for money for the next 40 years of my life. Okay, and I'm big on the wealth. So wealth is abundance in all areas of life. Poverty, it's scarcity in even just one area. So to me, you know, working 300 some, some odd days in a year to have maybe collectively two weeks off per year in vacation just so that I can like escape from this life that I've built myself into a corner with so that I can keep my sanity and continue to make it that's that's prison like I would rather sacrifice every single day for the next 10 years 16 hours a day and be free for the rest of my life so that's the plan I'm on and I want to share that with you because I didn't always think that way you know, I used to think that life was about having balance and life was about being happy and life was about, you know, um, having having time, whatever that means, having time. But I used to think that was what life was about. And now I've realized that life is about life. Like life is about living fully in every area that I possibly can. And I can't do that if I'm worried about how much groceries cost. I can't do that if I'm worried about right now, I'm about to fill up my, my tank and my BMW. I can't do that if I'm worried about how much premium gasoline costs. Like I'm so much bigger than that and you are too. And so what I'm saying is if you get it and you understand the freedom thing and you wanna have a life that you're in control of where you don't, you don't subject yourself to prices or money or an economy or any of that stuff, you need to be thinking about how do I get free faster? How do I get done with this thing in 10 years instead of dragging on every single day for the next four decades of my life? Because at the end of your life, you only had one of them. You, had, you got to answer to, to not just yourself, but your legacy on what you did with it. And I sure as hell want to make sure that my great grandkids remember me for more than just paying off my house and my car and retiring at age 60. So I hope that that is inspiring to you. Like, share, subscribe. You guys have a fantastic night. I'll talk to you soon.